Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Looks like we've got something suspicious going on here on the Drake. So our three captains were able to rescue this Captain Olimar fellow from the Scornet Maestro. His spacesuit put him in a bit of a life support sleep mode, and he hasn't woken up yet since they brought him back to safety. Interesting. Oh, poor Charlie. It's a good question now. What are we supposed to do? I love how well designed these characters are and how they emote. It's very nice. But there's Captain Olimar, fast asleep, it appears. But Alpha's having none of that. And we thought he had the cosmic drive key, but apparently he doesn't. So that's all kinds of trouble. Brittany is one to jump to percussive maintenance here, it appears. And Charlie resigned to the fate that this sleep mode suit is impenetrable. So fast forward. 24 hours. And apparently, Captain Olimar is alive and well. But for some reason, he very aggressively ran away. And this looks like we're back in the Garden of Hope. It seems as though we may have been bamboozled. And he took the rubber ducky, what a jerk. But worse than that, he's taken our juice supply. This calls for immediate action. He's run off with our goodies, all our hard work. And Brittany is out for blood. All right, so we need to find this Captain Olimar fellow. Where on earth he's possibly gone, who knows. Let's go ahead and split up our squad. Let's just do an even amount of all four types, just for fun. I try not to really rehearse what I'm gonna do unless I make a big old goof, so. He did go this way though, if we remember that. It appears he destroyed this wall, which is a bit suspicious. But even further than that, it looks like one of the fluke weed plants is attached to this blue onion? Well, while that's happening, we'll go ahead and charge the remaining Pikmin we have with this wall so that way we can safely go and use our winged Pikmin to unearth this surprisingly stuck blue onion? That's quite odd, isn't it? Huh. Well, it looks like we were able to help it out. The gr gross spaghetti tentacles that pop out from the from the sides. Okay. Well, it looks like that went well. So let's go ahead and throw Alf and being our blue commander, let's have Alf check out what these are. Welcome everybody to the final type of Pikmin in the game, Blue Pikmin. If you couldn't have guessed, these guys are our aquatic specialists. That's right, just like so many of us. Never hurts to be moist, right? So anyway, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and have our Blue Pikmin propagate. And we learned very early on that they can survive in water. Who would have thought? Thank you, game, for such incredible exposition. You know, these are the kind of things that... Oh, and we have too many Pikmin because... 
Okay, well, in that case, I will collect everybody here. We'll read a data file for a moment. Another Captain Olimar journal entry. Louis has become even more problematic. All he does is nod or shake his head, and yet he consumes three times the amount of food that I do. Not cool, Louis. Not cool. So that makes me think that if Louis is this problematic eater, then maybe that wasn't Captain Olimar after all. Interesting. So we're going to want to actually have space for the blues. And I totally forgot about that. So let's go ahead and put back a handful of the of the Pikmin. We'll keep the winged Pikmin because they seem to have a little bit more utility. But we'll go ahead and put back a bit of the ones we already have. And then we'll switch back to Alf as we continue to try to propagate the blues. We're feeling very soulful today. Because we got the blues, if you know what I'm saying, right? So we'll do that. And then we'll use Brittany and, and Charlie to explore a little bit. We are able to take down this wall. And we can get some revenge on the bull borbs here, which is really nice. For being jerks. And yeah, one uh, one swift throw of a red Pikmin is enough to take that bull borb down. And we have plenty of bridge pieces we can use to build this bridge that we're stuck with. And we have the winged Pikmin as well. So we'll go ahead and throw them here. And we'll switch off. And then we'll use the rock Pikmin as we collect a data file. A legacy of the past. We discovered the remains of what appears to be an underwater structure. Perhaps we can restore it so that we may cross the opposite shore. Louis is here, but we would still need somebody else's help to do this, Captain Olimar. That's just basically another hint that in the part of where we are in the world that you will be able to create a platform there and that platform will result in a spot for you to use all three of your captains. So I'm actually gonna call off the winged Pikmin. They did their job. We'll bring Alf in here and then we'll have our blue Pikmin take this pellet for extra Blue Pikmin goodness. Nice job, everybody. And one of the things that you'll you'll be at this point of the game and you'll be thinking to yourself, okay, like obviously we can just go gung-ho, full steam ahead with what we're trying to do with the blue Pikmin, right? You still gotta be careful because there are still these little jerks right here that will attack your Pikmin yeah, get him. There we go. There we go. We're not we're not taking any of your guff. And we can take these guys back to the blue onion. This is one of those days where it's really nice to be able to do this because in the same way that we were able to take pink Pikmin back, winged Pikmin, you can just do that in the onions right there. So you don't have to try to ferry them back to the Drake where the communal onion is. You don't have to do that. So And now that we've got this fruit here will ferry it out of the water with the blue Pikmin, but they're actually not going to do much more with it because I need them to focus on other things. This little area is cool. It's got a little bit of a, a bit of a puzzle with the way that it's set up, but first we have to obviously build this bridge. So that's a big thing. So I'll go ahead and whistle off our blue Pikmin once they are far enough away. I need you guys to focus on other things. We'll switch to Brittoni. And then we can just have some reds carry this delicious strawberry. And then we can even have the blue Pikmin come over here and they can take this bull borb, which is really nice. There's just something really cathartic. I don't know what it is exactly about being able to charge Pikmin. For some reason, there's just something really cathartic about it for me. So you have to forgive me for loving to do that, even though it's not always the safest comma slash smartest thing to do, but I just love it. So anyway, we've got our rock Pikmin. I'm going to throw them back over into the area where our other captains are. The blue Pikmin are definitely going to be the ones at a premium today. Those are the ones that we're going to be focusing on the most. We need them to do some pretty heavy lifting. It's important. That's the whole name of the game for today. There's obviously some more pieces down here. And we've got another enemy here. 
Once again, I don't entirely know the name of all of these enemies, but I just know that I don't like them and it's their time to go. So we'll go ahead and capture their corpse. That sounds like that could be a name of like a metal band. Capture the corpse. And then we'll use them to gather these bridge pieces, which is very nice. And there is also another fruit to gather that we'll be doing here today. This is a bit of a kind of a nice little fifth feeling out area, which is kind of fun. We'll have our Pikmin that are working on the bridge continue to do so, and then we'll split our squad here. There's not really a ton that you can do with the remaining colors of Pikmin. Winged Pikmin, obviously, are the ones that are always going to have the most utility. But until the bridge is built, there isn't really enough that we can do. So instead, we'll charge a handful of our Pikmin, who are hopefully not going to take this the wrong way. Okay, I see. Well, they're going to be stuck because I totally forgot that they're not squeezing that through. That is a tight squeeze. Okay. Well, we can collect the data file in the meantime. So apparently these octopus squid looking dudes are bad news. So we don't want to deal with that, but we built the bridge. We're always building bridges. So go ahead and whistle your blues back. You're going to want to keep them intact. We've got 29 of them, which is nice. I believe that's the max we have so far for now. Very good. And we have another enemy. Looks like we're gonna need some rocks to take advantage of this. I'm not entirely sure what this dude is, but he's sleeping. No better way to ruin someone's day than kill them in their sleep. Let's go ahead and do that. Looks like our Pikmin should have no trouble dispatching this guy. Oh, that was actually kind of sad. Well, at least he didn't know what hit him. And we'll bring Brittany around with the remaining rocks. We're gonna need them to help us out. Now that the bridge is built, we can make some more progress. We can break down this structure and it looks like there's another apricot in there, perhaps. And for safety's sake, we'll just have the blues carry that. I don't entirely know what exactly is going on here with some of these fruits and where they're gonna be, the method in which they'll be carried. I don't always trust it, so. We'll use the rocks. There's the exact amount of rocks and yellows teaming up as buddies do. Hopefully they don't jump into the water. That'd be, wouldn't be very fortuitous, I'd say. But what that does is that opens up that space there for our blue Pikmin to be able to carry it and bring it around town. And we love bringing it around town. So and in the meantime, we can go ahead and collect some more spicy berries. This episode's all just kind of about getting stuff done, you know? Teaming up, splitting up, conquering the world. We're just so effective now. We've learned the ways of cooperation. We were able to participate in grade school levels of sharing. It benefited us in a big way. So yeah, we're about halfway through and uh, yeah, we're having these guys be jerks. So we'll go ahead and I don't know if these guys are inherently dangerous to us or not. I know that they're going to like try to fight us, but they're going to try to no, 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 no. Oh, they're killing our blues. Excuse me. All right, boys, get in there and get go get in there and get them. Whoa. All right. Well, this is not going the way that I intended it to, but we should have enough to say about this in a moment once we fight all these guys off. We're being jerks. That's right. All right. Well, anyway, that wasn't very good. Lost some blues, but that's okay. I feel like each of these little fish corpses will be good enough of a reward. That sounded kind of nasty, but whatever. They started it. Actually, I kind of started it. Whatever. Whatever. So use your winged Pikmin. The amount that are required. And lift the gate. I don't know why you're not picking this up, but... Okay, so you two are clearly not the brightest of the bunch. I wanted you to pick up that... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. So... The blue Pikmin are going to take 
their spoils back to the blue onion and we're going to get another heads up about blue pikmin being able to attack while swimming they also are very vulnerable to these stupid fish so i don't know how many we actually have now but hopefully we didn't lose too many it seems like there have been some that have been submerged in the water long enough that they've been starting to germinate so that's interesting it looks like we have more than we started so that's all that matters obviously we're not in any place to want to lose Pikmin, but, you know, we're doing okay for now. And thankfully the winged Pikmin are ever so kind and holding up that gate for us with their cute little selves. So in the meantime, we're going to use that. I don't know if the reds happened to them. I don't think they came back. It doesn't look like they really collect any berries unless somebody tried to give them the munchies okay so there's just a random assortment of Pikmin that are just over here that's very strange anyway well since there are blue Pikmin and we do have a pellet posy here I'll have them take it back to the onion their onion for now before it becomes the communal onion I don't know in what order this becomes blue, unless it's blue after pink. That'd be really nice. And there, there it is. And we learned how to wait it out. I say that as I immediately failed to do so. Okay. And there's more blues here, which uh, we'll keep hacking away. We'll attack this bull board. There we go. And they can have a delicious treat. There we go. Good job, fellas. Well done. Okay. So we're making some progress. All kinds of bridges. And if you remember, this is part of the kind of Garden of Hope E area. And our goal is still to find the Hokitation, which we will do in time. This is kind of just a neat... Actually, I, th I think this is part of the Garden of Hope. I could be wrong. I mean, it looks like it is, but then again, I don't know. But in the meantime, with our reds, I would like to briefly lure these guys away and murder them great wonderful before we attack their their mother happy mother's day okay so they're done i think with the current crop of pikmin we have should be able to rush all kinds of them and this should be enough okay i wasn't expecting that to work that well actually so that's cool and actually you know what let's have the Certain types of Pikmin carry it a little bit closer to the onion, not yellows. Because there is an electric gate here that I would like them to get a move on. Yeah. I'm still trying to really focus on the blues. Because we still don't have as many of them as I would prefer. They took down this gate, which is nice. I don't quite remember if this is a... Well, there's more aquatic enemies. I don't know if we can unearth this or if we have to build a... Can we dig it out? It's been a while since I've done this part, so... There is a bit of a puzzle that we've got going on here. I think we need to find pieces of it. But beyond this way, there's a turd burglar up there in that, in that little area. So we're not going to go that way because I don't want to get my Pikmin chomped. But instead... While we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and charge our blue Pikmin and kill everything in this little pond because that's fun, right? Just killing things in a pond because blue Pikmin love to murder. It's actually the first, uh, the hit single off of d Mike Industries' first album called If You're Not Playing Vindictively, You're Playing It Wrong. So I'll have that work out for now. Looks like everything else is so far so good. There's a puffy blowhog in here too. That's fun. I haven't seen one of those in a while. There's a fruit that we can almost dig up. We are going to make a ton of progress today because we are epic. All right. And while he's uh, facing away, we will attack his behind. Red Pikmin are very effective. And then we can use the yellows and rocks, which I was told by a viewer that they are both equally good at digging stuff out. So thank you for that. I don't know if I need all of my Pikmin to do that, but this looks like another one of those weird navel orange things. I don't know if that's actually what that is, but 
in the time that we have left, I'm going to try to carry back all of these spoils of war. Okay, great. As many blue Pikmin as we can make in the meantime? And yes. So here. Um, this is also another enemy that... I See, I don't know any of these names, so you have to bear with me here. But I know that we're going to kill all of them in the process. And I think that confuses them if you, like... If it gets... Kind of grossed out. Alright. So we're not going to have time to really do much with building the bridge here. This is out onto the onto the land on the other direction. So we'll come back the next time and finish building the porcelain. This is going to be kind of a two part area. It's going to take a little bit of time to really get where we're going, but we'll make sure that all of our Pikmin are safe. And what's nice, once again, is that our um, our Pikmin are going to be within the blue safety circle, so we don't have to worry about that. There's a nice little blue pellet we might be able to rescue in the meantime. Let's go ahead and switch over to the others, just to make sure that we are good. Oh, we had one less, one fewer, wow. One fewer Pikmin than was necessary to carry the fruit back, and I actually want to... We're going to have to hurry, so we're going to try to double up. We're going to have to go back and snag the winged Pikmin. Because they are helping out, so we'll use Alf to do that. I believe they're still holding the uh, the gate, so we'll need them to come back to reality. There we go. Rescue our winged Pikmin, as they are ever so helpful, as per usual. So that should be good. And then we've got our blues just hanging out at home. Very nice. Let's check the co-pad real quick and make sure there's nothing fishy going on. Yeah, this is just one of those specific levels that there's just a ton to do, right? And the game is nice to kind of give you a heads up on what exactly you're expecting to do. But there's just so many moving pieces in this specific level that it does take some time to get used to what you're trying to accomplish. There's a lot of fruit. There is... It says that we have 13 blues in danger, which is strange. I think they're the ones that are still bringing stuff back to the onion. So here they are. And then there's some here. These three ding-dongs are just hanging out. So that's everybody saved. And we made a pretty good amount of progress with the blues today. I don't know exactly how many we have, but... Build a bridge. Conquered some aquatic nemeses. Yeah, we got 45. So that should be good for the next time that we come back here in the following episode because then we can continue to build some bridges and some porcelain pots like we're hanging out at our grandma's. The fine china. So yeah, that was a really good episode. Finally met the blues. Got to take on some obstacles. We got some some pretty good amount of fruits today, too. I believe we collected four or three. However math works, I don't know sometimes. But it seems like we made a big splash, so... Can't be upset about that. Okay, so here we go. These are all fruits we've had before. So we have a strawberry. Love a nice strawberry. Actually, this is one of my favorite fruits. I'm a big fan of like strawberry jam or like preserves. Have some nice toast with a little bit of butter. Throw some strawberry jam on it. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect breakfast. The citrus lump, this I think is just an orange. Or as we say in the Midwest, orange. So, love orange juice. It's good for you. And then I believe the following citrus 
is a, a navel orange or some sort of Japanese orange. I don't know. Apparently the Japanese have all kinds of weird, whimsical fruit I've never heard of before. But hey, can't go wrong. Citrus is delicious. Pucker up. And that gave us actually quite a bit of fruit. So, you know, we did have our juice buffer stolen from us, but we have six days of it now, just in one episode. Curse that hokitation, she says. But it's fine, there's plenty of fruit to gather in this area, and uh, yeah, we'll be okay. No worries, Brittany, we'll take care of ya. And that was day 18, we are really ahead of schedule. I think I lost three or four blues, six blues for 69 total. That's a, that is not a nice amount of casualties, unfortunately. But we've got 46 fruit. How awesome is that? You guys were awesome today, you did great work. We got 90 blues. I thought we only had 40 something. We have 90 blues. So we almost got 100 blues in one day. That's amazing. Look at that graph. Look at this graph. And we've got a message from Alf. So let's see what we got. The blue onion was only able to produce a single blue Pikmin. I wonder if that took its last bit of strength. Thank goodness we were able to dig the onion out. The blue Pikmin may very well have been on the verge of extinction. Signed, Alf. Well, we brought him back from being endangered, baby. That's what it's like here at D-Mike Industries. We're just helping things flourish. And we'll take that save screen. Great work, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye.